You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I'm on the next set in the My World Real World Made Mini Sets. Now, we did this one, the Mrs. Fields Cookie Shop, in another video, so that link will be in the description, but I'll bring it back and connect it to this one at the end. So let's take a look at the Skechers Shoe Store. Pretty excited about that. Now, there's other sets like Claire's Boutique, a barber shop, a coffee shop, but we got the whole shoe store, 55 pieces to build your own store. It says shoes fit on all my world dolls. So we'll see how many shoes come in it. Let me show you the back before I show you the side, because this gives you an idea of some of the, of the other sets. We have the Fields uh, Cookie Shop and then the Skechers Store. And here's some other ones here, including Claire's Boutique there. So this is everything that's in it. So we'll see what it takes to put it together and show you all the pieces, which I'm going to do next. So let me get it all out of the box, and then uh, we'll get started. All right, here we go. I am all set. I've got the floor covering, the two floor base pieces, and then the four wall pieces, and four connectors. And by the way, if you're interested in stuff like this, look in the description. We'll have a link to Jack's Pacific there. Just wanted to mention that. All right, so first things first. Well, let me show you the wall pieces while I have them down. It might be easier so you can see them in detail. This would be the back left wall. This would be the back right wall. And then this is actually the right side, so it's going to stand up here on the right. It says, Bella Ballerina by Skechers. Shoes that spin. And then the left side has bobs from Skechers. All right. So we'll keep those handy because I will need to do that. The flooring I'll show you in a little bit. These pieces you don't need. Right now, let's show you the base. Now, as you can see, each base piece has this little lip here. Now that's the connecting lip. It'll connect panels together and buildings together. So what we want to do is find the fronts. So there's the fronts. Okay. And now we know that this connects to this. Well, how do I know these are the fronts? Because there's no slots for the walls. Okay. So if you want to flip it over, you can kind of see there's a little notch area here. This just goes into this. You push it down, and then you add your little clip to this one. Don't forget that one. Okay. Flip it over. You can snug it up just a little bit. Now you can get the floor in. The floor is held in by the wall pieces. You don't have to glue anything down. It holds it all in there for you. So now we need Bella Ballerina first. Just slips in there. Okay. That's locked down. As you can see, they all have the My World logo on the panels. Alright, so now we know that the back panel is the sketchers going this way. Now remember now these all have like a 45 degree angle, so they match up really nice, like a real wall. And the trim. Okay, so now that would be a corner connector. So if you see here, I need to connect this corner. So you would take your little, which I'm trying to pick up, little corner piece, and just put it here. Done. Now you can check the alignment of your front of your store by, you know, running your finger here and saying, oh, maybe it needs to go back just a little and line up better. And then your other sketchers wall. Okay, and then this piece is a straight piece, so it's connecting the two walls together. And then the final wall here, this left side panel. Done. Connector. There is my Skechers base of a store. So let me get some more pieces in here and we'll just keep putting it together. Alright, so some things we can move out of the way. There's some stickers I don't need right away. The accessories, which I just brought in again so you can kind of see I have them all separated and organized now. She's back here by the counter. That stuff goes with the counter. And things I could put together is this shoe rack. So you're taking this piece to this piece to this piece. Now that is set. I'm not sure. It might need stickers. Now the gumball machine and stand, those will need stickers. And then these little boxes. Now I'll make a box for you. And then I'll show you one more quick piece here. Here, let me show you that now. There's a center pole. So if I was going to stack 
St. Clair's Boutique on top of this one. You would put this center pole and it would match up with the bottom of that one. And you can stack these buildings or wall structures together. So we don't need that. And then let's take a look here. So I made one already. They're pretty easy. So I'll just fold one for you. Maybe two while I'm here. Okay, you do that. You fold your little tab. Stick it in there. Okay. There. My little shoe box. I'll hide some shoes in there later. There it is. There's one of them. Here, let me do one more real quick. Okay, this goes first, that's right. Then this, and then this holds it all together. There you go. Okay, so there's one more which I'll build in a little bit. And then let's really take a look at all the stickers. And there's quite a few of them. So the last video I put them all on for you. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it just yet. I have to find out where they all go. You kind of have to look at the picture. So maybe I'll get some set up and then I'll put some on for you. And then we can start placing things into our store. Because that's the exciting part. So be right back. Okay, here we go. Uh, a couple things that I did. I got the mirrors together over here. This bench, I just put the two stickers on. It was easy to do. And then I noticed on the sticker sheet, it does label most of what you need. And even at spots, it'll say bonus label, bonus label. But looking at the gumball machine, I also noticed that one of these, it says apron, but it's also on the gumball machine. So you kind of got to look around a little bit. Here, let me do the gumball machine. And there would be one on the front. So I'm guessing now, if they're both for the gumball machine, that you should put one on the back. So you can move it around your store, right? Okay. But for now, I'll just do the front one. And then there's one on the globe, which you see on the box. It says apron, and there's one on the globe. So let's do that. An S on the globe. And then that apron gets an S. I won't do all the bags and shirts, but I'll show you each one. Because all the handbags get them. And then the shirts. Okay, so she gets one on her apron right in front. Okay, see that? I'll put that back there with her. And then now each of the shirts. So it'll say t-shirts. So you know... I guess it's up to you if you want one on the yellow or one not on the yellow, but you put that right on the front of your t-shirt. Okay, so I'll do those four. And then there's also these books, CDs, excuse me, and DVDs. So look for the DVD case. This goes in the blue rack on the counter. Here, so let me grab, let's see what I can pull off of here. This one is the DVD case, so take it and let's see, it should just wrap around. Let's get it straight, that's all. Goes all the way around, see that? There's one of my little DVD cases. And then the bags. So then I'll do the CDs. Here, I'll do a CD for you. It's the same thing. That one didn't go all the way around. That would go in that little case up there. And then there's a big one on the front of this. Let me do that while I'm here. Got the big sketchers. See, this says counter, and it goes right here on the counter. Okay, 
I could go in and all these bags. Each of these bags has three stickers, I'll show you. It says shopping bag, backpack. So look how it's shaped. It's made to go in this arch here. And then one on each of the little side pieces, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Ah, it's these little peace signs, these backpack pockets. So I can put one right here. Okay, and then I would just finish those out, which I'll do. Another one's like this one says register monitor. So I could pull off the register monitor and then just, you know, continue to put all your stickers on. I think that's a good assortment of showing you what goes into this. And then I'm not sure where these big purple ones go. I'll, what does it doesn't say? Oh, gumball machine base. There's three of them. So it looks like a nice big purple decal goes on the front here. And I will follow that all the way around. All right. And then these here now are for the shoes, which I'll show you later, because you could turn a pair of shoes into high tops by using those stickers. So let me finish this up, and then I'll come back and show you all the details. All right, I promised you some of the shoes. Now, these two are stickered. I put one on, and I started this one here. So there's the low tops, they're calling them. They get a long sticker that wraps around the shoe. I'll give you a super close-up of that. I know it's makes my hands look huge but and then you just wrap it all the way around like that okay so that pair is done and here's the high top I don't know if you can see the difference between the high top and the low top so the high top let's see left and right so now I can go to a high top right and it can only go on one way, really, so. Then it wraps around. And you do the same thing here. And then wrap that around. Okay, so there's another shoe. There's all everything in the back. Let me see if I can back up just a little. See everything? It's all been labeled so I finished putting the labels on these all the backpacks the shirts the DVDs it did take a little time so let's see let me do one more set of shoes for you the match to the one I just did Okay, and actually, this one was done. A couple of the shoes had decals already on them, so I didn't really need to do them. And that looks like one of these. Okay, all the shoes are done. Now let's take a look at everything. Okay, so I'm going to place it like they did on the box, just to kind of give me a direction here. So this actually went here. This pushed off in the corner. See all the decals are now on it. I put the back one on the machine. So the gumball machine is back here. The main desk is here. And there's, this goes here with a box of shoes. And there's actually a shoe on display on the box. So we'll do that and we'll put a shoe down. Okay. Then a shoe horn here, or a shoe measure. And there's a mirror over here going this way. Okay. Now let's see. Ooh, cash register front. So the customer sees the charges 
and then we'll put this cash register going the other way so she can stand behind it. And then up here, new styles. Nice. And there's hats in all the display area here so you can kind of mix and match. Now that, I don't have to follow the picture. There's hats. There's little glasses. See little glasses? So you can set up your little store however you want. And then this DVD and CD case is on the counter. And then these bags, there's some on the counter for shoppers. We'll put one over here. Okay. And then this is a little shoe stand, it looks like. You know, when you put your foot foot on it for your shoe. A couple more bags, so I'll get these all in place. Another sign. Looks like they had a sign way down here. It's hard for me to do at this angle. Alright. So really, there isn't much more. They don't show these bags. Oh, they show these bags all over this stand here. Let's see how they fit. They don't fit there. Okay, so I'm just going to tuck them in here. Some in each corner, like they're floor models. And you see, I stickered them all and finished the stickers on them. Now the shirts they show standing up in here. I think I'm just going to lay them down. You know, because things are going to fall once I start moving things around and setting them. So I'll just stack this one in here. There's my shirts. I think I got it almost all in there. A couple more accessories. Tuck to the side. I got another shoe measure here. We'll stick that there. And then there's just pairs of shoes, you know, around the store. It's a nice little shoe display. Next, we'll here we'll put a pair up at the counter here. Or on the box, yeah. Like it's a display there on the floor. And another hat. Maybe we can squeeze a hat way in here. Nope. Doesn't want to stand on the bottom. Where do I want to put my hat? I'll we'll put it on the counter. And then a couple visors. And then one more mirror we'll stick over here. And then my visors. That's it. If I can get them to stay on. It's hard for me to do at this angle and distance. One visor. And then, here, maybe we could stick one in a shopping bag. Like she's, someone's ready to buy it. Now let's check her out. As I noticed some things. One, her hair piece in the back actually moves really nice. So it feels like hair even though it's plastic. Apron just slips on. And it says she can sit, but you'd have to... Pull her apron off, you know, breaks over. Okay, so she's movable there. Arms move, but the elbows do not. So you have limited posability with the elbows, but it looks like her knees do. And shoes, yes. So it looks like I can sticker those and give her some of these styling shoes. There. There, that's better. You work in the shoe store. You want some styling shoes. Oops. There we go. Alright, so that is the doll. Let's put her apron back on. There she is. Can you see? Head turns. Looks around. Who? Who's in the store? Alright, so what I think I want to do next is bring in the Mrs. Fields cookie shop and see what it's like putting two sets together. So let's do that next and then I'll give you some close-up shots and a little more detail inside my Skechers shoe store. Alright here we go. I would say a rather impressive display for your little world. You've got all the cool little accessories. You can go from your Skechers store to your Mrs. Fields store. Let's say my girl here, I haven't come up with a name with her yet, she's going on break now and she wants to head over to Mrs. Fields, you know, and grab a snack so she can now, well, let's just say she takes off her apron before she goes to work. Right? And then she can sit on the stool. 
which is a perfect size for her, up to the counter, and she could have her cookie and coffee, right? And then when she's done, she's done with uh, lunch, her lunch break, not healthy. She didn't eat too healthy today. She's going to put her apron back on, and I'll go back to work at the shoe store. Pretty cool. So you can move her around and put her in the different scenes. And if you got more of these dolls, then you can have customers, right? And she could clean up the shop, move some boxes out of the way, and pick some shoes up. I would say overall, a pretty cool little set. So now you've seen them combined. Let me get you some, you know, detailed shots of the inside of the Skechers. Now this one here has a full video with a slideshow. So let me do the same thing for this set. I think overall... Now you know what it's all about. Again, we'll have the links for Jack's Pacific in the description. And uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see this video, we'll have a link to that also in the description. Now I'll give you a quick slideshow of all the different pieces of my Skechers shop. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the slideshow. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.